Hello, and welcome to Air Engine Research. If you have been following, you know I've had trouble with valve push rods. Well, I think I have that fixed. Here's the old way. I'll show you a video of what I was having problems with. <laughs> Now, the reason I had problems with that one was the cam was only designed to run in one direction. And when there was any back run on the engine, it would bend the valves. So we can't have that. So I came up with another idea, and I'll show you what that is in just a second. It can run in either direction. It doesn't make any difference. And if you just have to change the valve timing on it, that could run the, the opposite way for the engine itself. Um, put a ring around the drive shaft and that will allow me to have like a lobe and it will push and pull that ring which in turn pushes and pulls each one of the valves in turn and that one works well it can run either direction and it won't affect anything so I'll let you see how that is running on the valve uh, push rod system for the last week, making parts and putting it together, and I finally have it ready to try running. We'll see how it goes. I'll start off with two cylinders. <laughs> So you see how that goes. I also have an idea to recycle about one third of the exhaust air that is being wasted now. A lot of people keep saying, well, why can't you recycle or, or recapture or reuse it? Well, it's a lot more complicated than you might think. but. I think I've come up with a way that I'll, I'll try to explain to you and show you pictures on how it's supposed to work. But first, uh, as many of you know that's been following, I've been trying to come up with ways to make money that in order to buy a high pressure air tank that I need. Uh, so I want to ask a favor. I started a website. It's called dons.site.com. And if you go there and do any shopping online, as long as you go through one of my links or go online through there, then I will get a 4% uh, commission for referrals. And then I can put that towards hopefully buying a tank. Uh, so if you don't mind, if you do want to buy something, just go to that site and Anything that you click on will get you to the site, but there's one link right at the very top if you want to just go directly and start searching online, you can go there. So now let's go to, that's the site that you need to go to if you don't mind. Uh, I'll go back there and now we'll start working on the idea that I have to show you. Okay, that's the one with all six cylinders listed on it, and these are the ones where you would see it individually if you, if you look at it. The uh, number one cylinder is being pushed to the top right now by number four on the left over there, you see. So the exhaust air is just being exited that we're not using. If I go cylinder number two, as it's being pushed down, the exhaust air is coming out of cylinder five and going back up into cylinder two. Basically, at this point, 
neither one of them is actually receiving any new air. It's just the exhaust air is being recycled up into cylinder number two until cylinder number two moves down further by cylinder three pushing new air into it then it is exhausting the air out of number six that's no longer needed. If we go to number four, you can see that the red is the one-third of the exhaust air that was pushed into it by number one earlier. And now it's receiving high-pressure air from the high-pressure tank, and it's pushing the remaining air out of cylinder number one. Go to number five, and you can see there that number five is being on the exhaust cycle, and it's pushing number two, and number five are are being pressurized with the exhaust air coming out of number five temporarily. And as soon as it gets to a certain point, then it will be exhausting air out of number six by the high pressure air being pushed in to number three. It's kind of hard to explain that and there's going to have to be <clears throat> an extra valve put on the side of each cylinder that will open and close at the right time to allow the exhaust air that's coming out of one cylinder to go into the opposite cylinder without being exhausted to the outside. And then at a certain point when it's timed, it will close and then it'll let the remaining air exhaust because you can't be putting exhaust air in and putting high pressure air in at the same time. It's just not going to work. So hopefully this idea of kind of equalizing from one cylinder to the opposite cylinder for about one third of the way down and then pressurizing the remaining two-thirds with high-pressure air, I'll be able to save one-third of the air. That's just something we'll have to work on and see. But for now, that's where I'm at. Uh, it's too cold and there's... It's just I don't have any good place to work outside, so I'm really not working on, on the engine right now. I've got to make a mount to to put it on my test vehicle and like I say I'm I'm still waiting for getting a high pressure tank and also I'm going to need a a three stage high pressure air press air compressor also which is it's quite expensive several to many thousand dollars in order to buy one of those but I'm going to just keep working at it and hopefully one day I'll I'll succeed. So thanks for checking in today and I hope you enjoy watching the video and if you don't mind subscribing, great. Give me a thumbs up if you don't mind and, and do what I asked earlier if you wouldn't mind too. So until next time, thanks.